Wait, I'm sorry, Dinobot was on time again? What? Two days in a row of Dinobot making it happen and I am here for it. Hi everybody, welcome! I know it's funny to have a Monday stream because I don't normally do that, but tomorrow I am filming for Kingston Technology in their studio all day. So tomorrow's gong show had to get moved to today. So happy gong show on a Monday day, everyone. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. So this week is Steam Next, Steam Next Fest. If you don't know what that is, that means that there are lots of indie games, that have demos that are available to play for free right now on Steam. So it's like indie game a la Palooza. Welcome everybody. <laughs> Corgi. Yes, to everyone saying happy Juneteenth. Happy Juneteenth to you as well. Corgi adds in screw slavery. And yes, absolutely correct and well said. Thank you. Um, but yeah, if you're celebrating Juneteenth today, I don't let me know if you're off work, if you're doing like a barbecue or a cookout or what's going on. Uh, in your neck of the woods, I actually recently came across a charitable organization that I think would be perfect to celebrate. I wish I could have gotten it together for today, uh, but since I was gone last week, I didn't. But it would be perfect to celebrate both Pride Month and Juneteenth. So I'm going to see if I can whip something together for that pretty soon, which would be great. Um, let's see. Yeah, Dino got the notification out today before we were finished the countdown screen. Very nice. And GK says off work today. Huzzah. Let's all celebrate people being free for real. I was reading a really interesting article about how July 4th is traditionally when we celebrate Independence Day in the States. But for a large group of people, that's not true. Juneteenth is. Pool barbecue does sound amazing, Mike. And Tynique says, you took a vacation day since the kids are off school. Logan started his first day of summer camp today, so I'm a little on edge as a nervous mama. I, like, want to call and say, how's he doing on his first day? But that's, like, not a cool mom thing to do, right? You're supposed to, like, let him live his best kind of adult, but not really an adult yet life. I don't know. I'm trying. I'm trying not to be that parent, but, like, inside I'm a little bit that parent. I'll, I'll let you know. Uh, do they have tech summer camps? Not that Logan's enrolled in right now, but that would be cool. I think there are when the kids get older. But anyway, I've got a lot of uh, indie games to cover today before I go to get Little Man from his first day at, uh, at, at summer camp. Irdle says you're not a helicopter mom. You know what? I'm kind of in the middle. Maybe more skewing towards helicopter mom. I just, he's my only one. I'm a nervous person anyway. I have a lot of anxiety. I try. I try. Dante says she's an F-16 mom. I try. I try to give him his space, but more often than not, I'm like, well, oh, please don't get hurt. You know, it's, it's like having your heart live outside your chest. That's what kids are like. All right. With that being said, y'all, let me go ahead and pull up some of the games we have today. <laughs> Gong that anxiety. I know. I know. I like it. I like it, Rob. The gong is here. For those of you who've not been here for a gong show before, the way it works is this. I will play an early build or recently released or demo build of an indie game. You get to vote in chat whether we keep playing that game or whether the game you've seen enough. Leave some constructive feedback. I ring the gong and we move on to the next game of the showcase. And then at the end of the showcase, you get to vote on your favorite game that you have seen today. And then that will be declared the ultimate gong show winner. If anybody has any questions, it is a Batman sweatshirt today. Uh, if anyone has any questions about how this whole thing works, as Eardle the Albonian just put in chat, you can use command gong or command gong vote, and it'll let you know how the whole thing goes. Gong show hype. All right, so with that being said, let me start up our first game. And I'm just realizing now I'm probably going to have to plug in a gamepad. Ah, gong show hype. Thank you, Arg Scott. All right, let's see what we got. The first game that we'll be playing today is called Fall of Porcupine. And it looks like we're getting a raid just in time for Fall of Porcupine. So quickly, before 
we start fall of porcupine i've got some party balloons in the house for our raiders welcome to those of you running raiding from the dungeon run good to see you friends these party balloons are for you welcome 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 so the dungeon run family and i go way back to the days of the dungeon rundown but in case you've joined the dungeon run fam since my time hosting the rundown hi my name is trisha hirschberger i normally do tech video game and kind of fandom entertainment hosting on uh the television online in all different corners of the interwebs but you found my twitch channel where i play games for fun and today we're highlighting indie games it's all about indie games folks if you like tabletop gaming done at a very high performance level wow these folks are amazing please go ahead and follow the dungeon run their twitch channel is linked in chat they play some amazing D D. Oh, Josephine, were you on the dungeon run today? I love it. And Ron, how are you? Oh, so many friends. So many friends. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Like I said, you're here just in time for some fantastic indie games. So settle in. Maybe you'll find something new that you fell in love with today on the stream. And the way I do my indie game showcases, if you've not been here before, is in a game show format, similar to like American Idol, where you guys as the audience are the judges, um, and you get to vote in chat using a vote. So Command Gong or Command Gong Vote in Chat will let you know how to vote. But let me introduce our first contender for today's gong show indie game showcase the first game we're going to play today is called fall of porcupine developed by critical rabbit published by assemble entertainment and just launched four days ago congrats on your launch and when it launched it launched on pc playstation 4 and 5 xbox one series x and s and nintendo switch Fall of Porcupine is a unique story adventure, the collision of work and daily life, an exciting reflection of an unhealthy healthcare system. Experience the exciting story of Finley and his friends in a lovingly illustrated world and uncover the darkest secrets of Porcupine and its residents. Take the time to meet the villagers and have a beer with them in the local pub. Take a trip to the nearby forest or spend quality time with your friends. Engage in funny, profound, and sometimes serious dialogues in which you'll be able to choose your answers and influence your relationships. And here is a game tip from the devs. You don't even have time to look at the clock because your patients are waiting. Investigate what's wrong with them through your conversations and treat them in different mini games that challenge you in logic, speed, and skill. With all of that being said, I don't even know what we're in for, but the voting is now live at the bottom of the screen. You can cast your votes using uh, using emotes in chat. All right, welcome everybody. And let's go ahead and get started. Fall of Porcupine, new game. It does sound like a good D&D campaign storyline to Partos. So it's a story set in a healthcare environment. It does contain plot points that deal with issues relating to stress, illness, death, and self-doubt, among other things. Please pause the game if you feel unwell and consider contacting family, friends, or a professional for support. I love the disclaimer, making sure we're all taking care of our own needs first and foremost. Let's continue. Ooh, what was that? Oh, buddy! Oh, buddy with the glow- can I move? Yeah, can we move? That sounded painful and expensive. Oh, okay. I can jump and move. Right. Oh, we can go outside. Are we okay? It's an owl. Hey Finley, nice to see you at last. We talked we talked to this cute flower in sunglasses? Oh, it might be a pigeon. Yeah, good guess. Miso twin. It could be pigeon. Okay, what do I hit? There we go. E. Why the long face? Oh, no reason. I I wasn't expecting to run into my houseplant here. Who were you expecting? 
Your washing machine, perhaps? By the way, we need to talk about her. The way my pot vibrates when you set her to spin? No. I don't know. I think I'm looking for something. Oh, really? What would that be? I have no idea. But it was important. And I think I've lost it. Well, if you don't remember what it was, it couldn't have been that important. I'm sure it can wait, buddy. You think so? Of course. Come on, relax. Just take a look at this meadow. The lush grass, the bright warm sun, and this wonderful soothing music. How can you worry when you see that? Yeah, it's good to be out in the sun. I'm not sure I hear any music, though. Oh, yeah? Wait a minute. I was going to say I don't hear any music either. There we go. Better? Yeah. I'm going to turn it up a little. Yeah, I like this. Coolamundo. Just let your leaves dangle. Leave your worries by the wayside. Yeah. Yes, I should do that. I just need to relax a little bit. Great. That's what I want to hear. Lost things always turn up eventually. So go find yourself a comfy spot. Make yourself at home. I might do that. I'm going to have a little look around. It's so beautiful here. I want to pick out my spot carefully. The choice is all yours. Just relax your frazzled feathers. That's the main thing. Enjoy, Fino. Okay. So here we go on. We did just have a full conversation with our potted plant. Oh, I can talk to this plant too? Well, hello there, buddy. We meet again. How goes the relaxation? Did you find the person you were looking for? Ah! Controller rumble. rumble. Uh, it's going quite well. I'm going to use the controller. Um, I don't have a... Uh, it's really nice here. Person? Let's say person. Uh. What? Oh, don't mind me. Phew, excuse me. Isn't it fantastic here? We're all having a great time. Am I right? So what are you going to do now? I don't know just yet. Who's the big guy behind you? What? Oh, him? That's Hugo. We went to university together. He's great to climb around on. I used to do that all the time. He won't let me anymore, though. Not since I got aphids. Thank you for the bless yous. Yeah, this is a little too chill for me as well right now, Rob. Want to give it a try? Sure, why not? But I don't think I can get past the giant flower. Hold on, we'll have that sorted in no time. See? No problem at all. No problem. The whole ground was shaking. Hugo's quite ticklish. You need to be careful when you climb on him. And don't break off any of his leaves. He prides himself on his great foliage, you know? There we go. I guess I can jump on that. Can I fly? It says A, but A doesn't seem to be doing anything. I'm waiting for the part where it's like, uh... Like healthcare stuff. I guess they just want me to jump on these. Okay, that was just telling me, I guess, that I could jump on leaves. So there's another plant up here. Should I talk to that plant, maybe? I don't know that I... Oh, hello. Hello, Finstar. Up here. Oh, how'd you get all the way up there? I'm a plant of many talents. I'm not allowed to climb here anymore, so I had to come up with another solution. What do you want to do? I don't know yet. Maybe I want to dive into the water? Seriously? I thought we were just going to chill. Besides, it looks pretty deep. I think it is, yeah. Maybe what I'm looking for is down there. I just want to check it out. Well, whatever floats your boat, little fella. I'm more a partial shade kind of guy. Besides, I'm prone to overwatering. Chicken! Oh. Are we calling him a chicken? Now am I supposed to jump? I can float down because I'm hidden. 
Okay, I jumped in the water. Now I'm swimming in the water. There's another plant down here. You made it after all. You know me, I never ever pass up on a good time. Are you all right? I'm going to catch a cold. Then you'll need to take care of me. Go shopping for me, do my taxes. The water's lovely. I don't know what you're going on about. No, I don't like water. So you want me to stop watering you then? That's different. You wouldn't understand. It's a flower thing. All right, all right. So cold. Don't be such a baby. I don't understand. I guess my question is, what's the point of it all, right? Isn't that the statue from the town square? Are you in charge of the water here? Can you hear me? I'm looking for something. Maybe you've seen it? No response. How rude. Let it cook, says lack of words. All right. Yeah, it looks like we're an owl that's a doctor from our lab coat. Now we're on the beach. Miguel, welcome back. Thank you for the resub. The Finmeister, there you are. What took you so long? You're looking better again. Hey, who can be down when you're down at the beach? That moment when the excess water disappears and you feel the first tickle of photosynthesis kick in? There's nothing like it, my man. I just can't get enough. I forget everything around me. Who are you again? Finley, you live with me. Tina gave you to me. You're from her flower store? Finley, fondly, dingly, dongly. It's all the same to me right now. Oh yeah. This place seems kind of familiar. Have you been here before? Maybe, but not like this. You sure do have some strange notions. So, have you found what you're looking for yet? No. But I don't think I'm actually looking for something. I'm looking for someone. Well, congratulations. You found someone. Your very best flower, buddy. Now grab yourself a drink and lie down on the sand. We haven't had a vacation in a long time. I, I'll be right there. Maybe I'll find who I'm looking for here on the beach. All right, but don't get sunburned. After all, I'm not an aloe vera. Yeah, it is kind of night in the woods, Ask. I can see that. Like, I'm like, is the whole point of the thing that like, don't go looking for things forever. Whoa! Bouncy castle up in the air. Now we're in the clouds. Oh, hello. Ingrid, nice to see you here. Do you happen to know where... where Mr. Arndis is? Mr. Arndis. I was looking for Mr. Arndis. He's a patient of ours. And he disappeared? I was taking the elevator and something went wrong. I have to find Mr. Arndis. Otherwise, something will happen to him. Sorry, Ingrid. You know how much I enjoy our conversations, but I've got a feeling something's happened to Mr. Arndis. We'll catch up again soon, I promise. Well, hmm, now the plot thickens. Okay, I went in the elevator. Um, okay, this weird vortex that is the elevator. Mr. Arndis has to be here somewhere. Hello, Mr. Arndis, can you hear me? Well, this looks like a very spooky place for Mr. Arndis to have gone. Um, okay. Mr. Arndis, are you here? Oh, uh, it doesn't look like, okay, here's something. Hello, is someone there? There are boxes full of documents and folders on the hospital bed. Strange place for an office. I guess everyone has their own take on interior design. 
The bed almost looks like an actual desk. Maybe I should... Ugh! There's someone back there! Mr. Arndis, is that you? Is it? That's... Is there... Wait, is there blood on the ground? I'm sorry, what is happening here? That's blood. It's still fresh. Ah. Uh... Mr. Arndis, you're bleeding. Don't move. Ugh. What? Who? Who are you? Just stay calm. I'm going to help you. Is anyone there? We need some help here. Hello? Um. Oh, no. What? Dun dun dun, indeed. Oh, good morning. St. Ursula's tasks. Messenger, Mia. Hope you're feeling well again. Glad you're coming back to work today. Maybe we'll have time to chat, and then you can finally tell me all about what happened. Carl said, besides, you were only trying to help me find Mr. Arndis. Oh, here, let's see. We can go all the way back. Hey, Finley, here's my number. Feel free to come to me if you have any questions. Yesterday was fun. You're a cool guy. Let's go back to Gilbert's next time our rotas line up. Yeah, it was fun. Things got pretty heated, though. Ah, that's normal. You'll get used to it. Hey, Finley, how's your head? Hey, Carl, I'm all right, thanks. Head's still throbbing a bit. How's the ward? Sorry I'm off work so soon after starting. Don't worry. Could have happened to anyone. Besides, you were only trying to help find Mr. Arndis. Still feel bad about it. Forget about it. Order yourself a pizza instead. Okay, well, let's see what Pina says. Pina here. Thought I'd text you so you have my number. How's it going? We're keeping you busy? Hey, Pina. Yeah, definitely. You should calm down soon, though. How are things at the store? The Monstera Deliciosas are arguing over who has the prettiest leaves again. Apart from that, not much going on. Thanks again for taking me out today. My hangover was really nasty, but the fresh air did me good. Sure thing. Hee <laughs> hee. We can do it again when you've got time. I'm always going up to the woods anyway. Plants are my job, you know. Sure, let's do it. Hope things are better with you. What? What happened? Box fell on my head. Got a nasty cut. Whoa, Finley, you need to be more careful. Do you need anything? Nah, I think I'm fine. Okay, I'll be driving out of town again in a few minutes. Is it okay if I stop by and bring you something on the way? Um, all right, what is it? A gift. Uh, okay, sounds intriguing. Thanks for stopping by. It was really great to see you, and thanks for the plant, too. I'll take good care of it. Regular light, not too much water, and empty the sachet I gave you in the soil three days from now. Crazy you didn't have any plants until now, by the way. I can't imagine what that's like. Got it. I'll remember. All right. Um, let's read this one from Ma oh, Mom and Brother, the only two left. Whoa, we talked to our mom a lot. Hey, did you get there okay? Hey, Mom, sorry the move was pretty hectic. Hope you enjoy Porcupine. We'll come and visit soon. Please get in touch. If you need anything, I'll do that, I promise. Thank you, Mom. Good luck for your first day of work. Thanks, I'm a little nervous, but I'm looking forward to it. Hope my ward's nice and the cafeteria, of course. You're going to be a great doctor. We're very proud of you. Hi, sweetie. How'd it go? Hey, hey, it was really cool, but also exhausting. I was going to unpack a few more boxes, but I think I'll just head straight to bed. Do that. You deserve some downtime. The boxes will still be there. Good night. Not heard from you in ages. Is everything okay? Hi, Mom. Yeah, everything's fine. Just lots going on. Sorry. Works harder than I expected. Feels like I don't have time for anything else. Well, new starts are always tough. I'm sure it'll get better. How are you doing? We're on vacation, nice and sunny here, just on our way to the beach. So, like, these are all the things. I didn't scroll back to the first text. I'll try Vampire Anarchy. Um, these are all the things I feel like we were seeing in that, like, hallucination we had in the very beginning. Um, I started making me a few friends. Mia and Carl work on my ward. They're cool. Um, even went in the woods with a new friend. Knowing you're happy makes me happy, too. Uh, taking an unscheduled break. Had an accident at work on sick leave. Mom says, do you need me to come over? Bump on the head. Mom says she'll be on the next train. It's fine, Mom. Okay. Yeah, GK, I don't know. It seems like a cutesy game, but then it's dealing with some serious stuff. 
Hey, big brother, happy birthday. How are things going? Hi, Finley. Doing just fine. Thanks. Happy birthday. Thanks. At a bar celebrating lots of people here. Okay, I have one for me way ahead of you. Will you be home for dad's birthday? No, I can't make it. I'm on vacation right now. Okay. Help or notes. St. Ursula's tasks. No tasks available. Okay. Putting down my phone. Uh, uh, for our head, we just have the tiniest little band-aid. Another of those weird dreams. I feel really groggy. Feels like I haven't slept at all. Maybe I should just give up sleeping altogether. Okay, nothing else for it. Time to get up. I see lots of mixed feelings on this one in the votes so far. We can talk to our plant here. You've got another minute left before we move on to the next game of today's showcase. So get in those votes one way or the other. If we don't get a full win or a full gong, Fall of Porcupine will get an honorary gong before moving on to the next title of the showcase. There you are, just standing there in your pot as if nothing happened. You've given me quite the restless night. It's all right for you. You don't have to go to work. If I find beach sand in your pot tonight, there will be trouble. Cute. TV? I used to game with my roommate every night when we were at university. She always kicked my butt in the one-on-one -on -one Viking battles. I figured I could treat myself to some gaming after work. Fat chance. I haven't even touched the thing since I moved in. Whoa. That was cool. Can I get back in my PJs? No, I'm dressed now for the day. I got a heap of mail when I first moved in here. Porcupine isn't big, but it was still kind of nice. A bus timetable, a sightseeing guide, and a trial subscription to the daily newspaper. Maybe I'll become a newspaper reader one day. Then I can buy a pair of glasses like Ingrid's. Okay. So now we're outside. It's very quiet. That bike's been there ever since I moved in. So either someone moved and forgot it, or it's not biking season here. If it's still there come winter, I'll take it with me and get it fixed up. Okay, I guess that guy doesn't want to talk. You have returned. Morning, Finley. Uh, running late? Yes, yeah, Susie. Had a restless night. Crazy dreams. Oh yeah, I know what you mean. Most nights I don't dream at all, but sometimes I dream that I'm running, just on the spot, for no reason. That definitely comes from work. I heard Louis Colbert is having trouble sleeping too. He's worried about the store. People just don't buy as much stationery as they used to. I mean, I'm not complaining, less for me to carry, right? Are you doing your rounds already? Come on, you know me better than that. All right, folks, our time is officially up for Fall of Porcupine. And while I do have a feeling this is a slow burn game, it was too slow for its 20 minute demo for the gong show and receives an honorary gong show gong. Uh, Ionizer367, thank you so much for the resub and happy one year subversary to you. That did go fast. And Azorian Kid, I see your redemption as well. I will try to do that after stream today. All right, here we go. Folks, if you want to check out Fall of Porcupine, it is available on many different platforms. It gets an honorary gong show gong for the day, which means it is not eligible for the final vote at the end of the day. But like I said, it just launched four days ago on Windows, PlayStation, Xbox, and Switch from Critical Rabbit and Assemble Entertainment if you want to check it out for yourself. And congrats as always on getting your game launched. It is no small feat to launch an indie game, so huzzah. Okay. Let me get our next game loaded up here. Starting up now. Yeah, those slow burn games never tend to fare very well on the gong show because we're all like, so what's the game? Like I thought from the description, we might be like helping patients in a healthcare setting and we're just walking around talking to people. But maybe it gets there eventually. I don't know. All right, let's see if this next one has a Twitch category. Okay. Looks like it does. Now I'm going to adjust our settings so that hopefully you guys won't be getting the screen tearing that you're seeing right now. But this next game is Land Above, Sea Below. Land Above Sea Below is developed by Glass Cannon Studio, published by Skystone Games, launching sometime in the near future on PC. 
Land Above Sea Below is an atmospheric building, an atmospheric building strategy and puzzle game where you have to build your island from uh, you have to build your island from tiles in order to raise its height as much as possible to avoid it getting flooded by the constantly rising sea level. The demo showcases a work in progress game, so keep that in mind. Uh, we used a season cap as a limitation and we have reduced the availability of tile versions, but you will be able to taste the atmosphere and dive into the world of the game. It's got a fine-tuned mixture of the landscape builder, puzzle, and strategy genres with a fun and constantly challenging gameplay, yet with a nice and calm atmosphere. Now the game tip I have been given is that synergies can be created throughout properly placed groups of tiles, so your entire island can be positively affected by the placement of a single tile. Keeping this in mind from the very beginning of the game is a must. Now our goal is to keep the tree of fall alive. As long as this tile is above sea level, the game continues. The length of the game only depends on how long you can survive. With all of that being said, the voting is now open. And yes, you are seeing screen tearing, and that is because the game is defaulting uh, to full screen on my ultra wide, and that's not playing nice with the capture card in 16 by nine. So give me a second, we'll see if it has any settings. The demo itself may not, but okay, it lets me move the camera, zoom the camera, and rotate the camera. Create synergies. Here, let me see. Options. All right, this is what we need. Not ex uh, full screen window. Ex okay, let's try. Maximized window is maybe what they're calling borderless. Let's see if that works. Game music seems a bit loud. I'll turn it down for you. Right, that does not seem like what I wanted. So let's try maximize window and see if that... Hmm, it's still just really... Escape is... Ex it says escape is accept, but escape is also cancel. Alright, well. I'm gonna change this real quick and see if it fixes for us. There we go, now you shouldn't see the screen tearing. But that's something that needs to be fixed. They can't both be escape. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Now you can see the game. You shouldn't see any more screen tearing. <laughs> and the game music should be a little lower now. All right, creating synergies. Place at least five tiles. Place tiles to achieve times two synergy, times three synergy, and times four synergy. So I assume that means... That's times one. synergy hmm how do I get it to be I guess that would be times three if I put it there that's our times three synergy and four surrounded on four sides huh It does feel very much like Dorf Romantic, I agree. So let me just do, for the purposes of the tutorial. Ah, oh, I did too many synergies. It needs exactly four? What a stinker. All right, there we go. Water level rises after each season. And I think we need to keep this tree fine. Raise island at least three times. Uh, raise tree of fall. Okay. Now, I guess how we raise it is by building beside it. I've now raised it twice. And that raises it. I'm not quite sure how building around it is raising it, but a tutorial for that, yes, would have been nice. But that's all right, let's see. And it says seasons up here, day one. Looks like maybe this is our sea level here. 
get one extra day before the end of the season. Skip current tile in hand. So I get like power-ups, I guess, at that point. Raise this tile higher if I need to. Okay, now I've raised it a little bit. I guess I could raise this one higher if I wanted to, or it wants me to raise it higher. Raise this tile higher, maybe. Do any of these raise it higher? That raises that one higher. Okay, next season, I guess. Junior Dax says, I like the music and graphics, but I honestly have no idea what's going on. Season two, rot row. Unlocked, Autumn River. Rivers keep itself and adjacent tiles of their own type above sea level. You can't raise this tile's height. Longer your river is, the more score you get. Okay, I'm not really sure. I guess we wanna make a river. I'm making a river here, I guess, in the middle. But it looks like maybe I shouldn't do that because I guess a river is just one. Maybe. Oh, here's a river. Interesting. Because it's telling me raise this tile higher, but that's not like an upgrade I can click on it or anything like that. And I don't understand why... Like, that has two synergies, but it doesn't seem to be raising anything up when I build near it. Like, what what, am, what are we doing that's causing it to raise up? Mike says maybe this would be better as a mobile game. Okay, that seems to raise everything up. I'm not quite sure why, but we saved our tree. Season three. New dawn. Oh, this was our power up we got. Get one extra day before the end of the season. Okay, now it looks like we'll have more forest and some houses to build. That lifted everything. That lifted everything more. Again, not super sure why, but I'll take it. Uh, like, how do I raise up the... I would like to raise up that river, but I'm not real sure how. All right, now we've got houses. And I can't put them... Now what happened here? I guess I had to destroy those two to make the house? Why are things, oh no, those are, oh no. My house got destroyed, but I couldn't build a house on something that, Mike says, I love puzzle games, this one's just confusing. Yeah, I couldn't build a house on top of something else. And like it says plus 10 here, but like how plus 10? Okay, rivers keep itself in adjacent tiles of their own type above sea level. You can't raise this tile's height. Okay, so my river's doing a little better now. What if I do more river on this side? That seems all right. And now if I put a house next to it, maybe the house won't drown? Okay, more river. Okay, and another house. Um, maybe the house should go over here though. 
and then more river. Okay. I don't know. No, because look, I put a house next to the river, and it said a house next to the river shouldn't drown, but it's going to drown. What? Mike says the concept of this game is great. They just need to explain the game better before dropping the player in. Yeah. Uh, Yertle says what would happen if there were no Gong Show winner? I don't know. I don't know that that's ever happened. Maybe today will be the day. Okay, so it looks like I could put a house here. And then more forest. It looks like I can't build on... And more house over here, I guess. And more forest, maybe, over here. And more river, but like forest river. I guess there's a difference between forest river and house river. Okay, there is, but they just never said that. So, now that we know that there's a difference between forest river and house river... Season six. I'm not quite sure what the end goal is. <laughs> uh, okay, house, house river. And then back to forest. Two, two. I'll put it right there. Now I've got another house with three for synergy. Another river there. Another river there. And another house. Oh no, all of that's going to sink? What? Because I haven't been building over there, I guess. Uh, I guess maybe I should have made a river go over there. I don't know. I don't know. It didn't tell me. It just said make synergies. But it didn't explain how things rise and fall. Right? All right. Well, folks, land above, see below from Glass Cannon uh, has... Received an official gong show. <laughs> gong. There it is. So I think overwhelmingly all of our feedback was if you could uh, do a better job explaining why the water levels rise in some spots but not in others and how to raise the levels in other spots, whether it's synergy based or something else, that would be fantastic. Now, folks, this game is not out yet. We are just, there is a free demo available, but Land Above, Sea Below from Glass Cannon Studio and Skystone Games is coming soon to PC. I know for those of you out there like Mike G who said I really like puzzle games, this could be a fun one once we figure out how it works. Okay. The next game we have today, let me get that ready for us too. Let's see if it has a Twitch category. All right. Next one starting up. 0 for 2 so far, or 2 for 2 if you're rooting for the gongs, depending how you like to play. All right. The next game of the showcase today is called Snowscapes. Now this has a free demo that you can play right now from Log Log Games, launching sometime Q3 of this year on PC. It says, Welcome to Snowscapes, a cozy nature simulation where animals kill each other. That does not sound very cozy. Uh, fight and die right in front of your eyes. I'm sorry, you said cozy. I'm so confused. Control the simulation. Play cards to influence the world and have fun in this little frozen ecosystem. Watch it all happening from above or step into any animal to see it all up close. Wait, I have to be the animal in like the murder 
cozy bloodbath game? Okay, it does warn us that it is has very bloody and gruesome effects. I don't know that they know what the word cozy means. Uh, it says, it's up to you if you will start a chaos or try to maintain a balance. You get a card every time you play one to keep your options open. You can spawn new animals into your ecosystem or you can kill them all with one card. Different cards influence the simulation. Watch the simulation from multiple cameras. I'm going to turn down the music a little bit. What have we just gotten into? Dexter thinks it's cozy. Yeah. Okay. Well, here we go. Play the demo. The voting is now open. Welcome to Snowscapes, a nature simulation where you hold the reins of an ever-evolving ecosystem. You'll interact with this world through cards, each of which holds the power to affect the lives of your creatures. Like there it says that's my deer. Deer. Tells you their age, their hunger, if they're pregnant, and what their gender is. Each non-animal card has a token cost, visible in the top left corner. Okay. Spawning animals is free, though. Go ahead and play a card now. You can use one to six to quickly select a card. Uh, looks like we've got fox, bear, penguin, and deer. I could put another deer in with the deer. And here, it shows us on the very top there's a predators to prey. When you keep your ecosystem balanced, the sparkling orb will appear. Maintaining balance will unlock new cards, but that's in the full game only. Okay, and it shows up here. I've got 24 tokens. So the point is, I guess, to have a, a balanced ecosystem. Well, I'm so sorry, dear. Here comes a fox. I put a fox in. Fox is a predator. Now my predators to prey ecosystem is almost balanced. But not quite. Um. Okay, that deer doesn't look like he's... I guess fox don't eat deer, right? But what does the fox say? Let's put in a bear. Bear by... I'm sorry, deer. I'm so sorry. Is the bear gonna eat the deer? I'm so confused. What's happening? I mean, they seem fine. They all seem to be peacefully coexisting in this little square that we have to control. Um, I guess I could put kill all animals one by one with a nuke. Or I could discard my cards. Um, I guess I'll put in another bear. Okay, there's another bear. What's going on with this guy? Oh, he's very hungry. Who's he gonna go eat? The deer? Where's he going? Oh, he's getting this deer. Ah! Ha, ha. Oh, man, that's so much deer blood. Oh, no. Alright, well, I bet that fox isn't hungry anymore. Okay, we're gonna put another deer in there just to like balance things out a little. Oh, we got the shiny orb! Place a bush which provides food. Oh no, this bear's hungry. Oh no. How do I, how do I become the bear? Oh, we're becoming the bear. Wait, how did the bear die? Because he was hungry? How, wait, I don't understand. I don't, I don't understand what happened to Bear. There's another bush. It's a food source. What happened to my Bear? Bear just died. Oh, Bear was about to die from hunger, it says. Why didn't Bear eat a deer? What does Bear eat? Bear maybe eats rabbit, and I didn't have any rabbits. Not really sure. Let's be the rabbit. 
What's up, Bunny? No, I'm not controlling Bunny. Bunny's just going. But Bunny's running pretty fast, which makes me think there might be a fox. Oh, no. Or bear. Oh, no. Are we about to get eaten by bear? Cozy, right? <laughs> Why is it... Wait, is this the bear that died? No, fox just died. Why is everything dying? Make all foxes stealthy? I mean, there's lots of deer. There's another bear, friend. I could put a penguin in. I'm just gonna put everything in. And a wolf. Like, what is up with this guy? Rabbit's about to die from old age. Why is this bear all bloody? Tokens are earned by maintaining a balanced ecosystem. Help your animals grow, reproduce, and live to a ripe old age. Be aware there's no save. Every simulation is a unique experience. Okay, well, it looks like there's food over there, man. Such a weird game. How do I exit? Uh, double clicking. Oh, escape brings me back out here. Yeah, what happened to this guy? I don't know. He's just dead. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna put a wolf in. Okay, now it's like, I'm pretty balanced on predators and prey. I don't understand why they're like, like, what's going on here? The deer is very hungry. But there's bushes, deer. Go eat. This deer is also very hungry. And why are they not eating each other? I'm so confused. Look, they're just they're just falling down dead everywhere. Well, I guess life's blessing. Can I use that? No, I only have 29 tokens. All right. Well, I'll put. I'm keeping it balanced. So why isn't it? This had so much potential. I know. There it is. I, I did the balancing thing, but no one wanted to eat anybody. I don't know. The gong wins again. The gong wins again. Folks, that was Snowscapes. Also has a free demo. <laughs> Got an official gong show gong today from Log Log Games. I don't know why my uh, little predator to prey experiment, my cozy animal murder sim... <laughs> wasn't working it wasn't working all right folks we are three for three on the gong or zero for three on the win so far let's check out the next one and see how we do oh man oh man i must have gone really dank today with the games sometimes i do that by the way just a warning just a warning. The repetitive music was a bit much. I agree. Mike said, I wanted to see Mortal Kombat, but with animals. All right. We do have a Twitch category. And let me just change over our graphics. We should be good to go as soon as the game fires up. Let's see what we got. This next title, hopefully it will start for us, is called Let's Revolution from Buck Ant Food, Twitter handle, King of Bee Bomb, and published by Hawthorne Games. Just launched today, congrats on your launch on PC and Mac, Let's Revolution is a colorful roguelite puzzle mashup about stopping a narcissistic king from ruining your world. Flip tiles to uncover the hidden path to the king. Use deductive reasoning to avoid his cronies or take them all down in a strategic turn-based combat. Ooh, we're getting a little intro here. I've got no sound on the intro. Maybe we're supposed to have no sound. Interesting looking. 
It says it builds on the classic rules of Minesweeper with procedurally generated mazes and turn-based tactics. Acquire over 100 items and abilities for a final showdown with the king. It's a vibrant hand-animated world. I love me some hand animation. Now we get music. Choose your hero from six unique classes, each with their own playstyle and abilities. Okay. New run, I guess. So now that we know about it, the voting is open. Let's check it out. Hi, hey, stranger. Her design is very interesting. Uh, Rotten King got you down. Well, now's your chance to rise up. He's right over there. I'm gonna use a gamepad. Hello. Hello. Maybe no gamepad if it's supposed to be like Minesweeper. All right, Trooper, 12 for 12. Stamina, gain six energy for every five tiles revealed. All clear, plus three coins for dis defeating all enemies on the map. Payback, gain two energy each time the hero takes damage. And faster enemies, enemy clocks are 25% shorter. So let's see, it says, oh, who might you be? Does another loyal subject wish to kiss my ring? Blah. Gross. Someone needs to put that good-for-nothing king in his place. Maybe you? Excuse you, it is forbidden to talk of the king in that tone. Let's deal with his guard first. You'll do no such thing. Guards, seize them. We'll see about that. Here you are. Select a highlighted tile to move there. Enemies will attack after a set number of turns, regardless of where you are. She is awfully casual about staging a coup. Select this tile to move closer. This guard's clock is now full. He's about to attack. Oh, okay. Is this their clock at the bottom? Watch and learn, soldier. Stick him. Stick him good. Enough. Close the distance so you can attack him back. Oh. Ouch. You lost a heart. Don't worry. You look like you can take a hit. So here's my life up here. And it's... Ha! A palpable hit! Now give them a good smack for our king. Alright. Here comes, let's see. Okay, here comes a big one. Time for some payback. Select roundhouse. Okay, roundhouse. And that should hit both of them. Select yourself to attack all the tiles around you. Great! That oaf just killed him! How rude! Stop them at once! One down, two to go, now move up. So I guess I'm curious now what the numbers on the tiles mean. Get into position to use roundhouse again. Okay, well, I, I guess I am. Watch this, your majesty. I will smite them in your name. Uh-oh. Roundhouse requires eight energy, and you only have four. I should say adding me. Makeshift Wing says, I like the voices. Uh, good thing you have an energy tonic. It's a free action, so using it won't count as a turn and cause an enemy to attack. Select the energy tonic. On myself to drink it. Great. Now select round house. All clear. But I was supposed to be the hero. How preposterous. You will be punished. Wait, we don't have to get the king up here? You in it? Yo, you eliminated the enemies. Now go get the king. Okay. So yeah, I'm not quite sure. I mean, there is loot over here. Let's go get the loot first. I like that. Now let's see if I can use my bow. I can! Chase the king. All right, where do I chase the king to? All clear. I knew he was too craven to fight. He must have hid somewhere. I'm Gemma, by the way. I left the Floxians years ago and never looked back. Now I go where I want and offer personal training to those who can handle it. The king hides at the end of the road. 
All other dead ends contain something useful, like my traveling gym. Now let's find the king. Maybe you'll be the only one to finally take him, or maybe you'll be the one to finally take him down. Okay. These icons tell you there are three enemies hiding along with the king. You're low on stat. Oh, here's where it turns into like Minecraft because we're uncovering tiles. And yeah, maybe skull and crossbone tiles or death tiles. I don't know. You're low on stamina, but you have a trait called stamina that restores some every five tiles you reveal. That. Select this highlighted tile to move there and reveal it. Good. Let's keep going. Okay, and think back to your Minecraft days, Trisha. Then that means the number shows how many around it are not bombs or something like that. Help me out. It's been a long time since I played Minecraft. Uh-oh. Okay, I stepped on a hidden enemy and lost a heart. Whoops. Oh, no, no, no. I got you. I'm the best. What's it, what's Just it, ignore him for now. He won't attack for four more turns. Listen, only enemies hide on road tiles. Or enemies only hide on road tiles. And the numbered tiles tell you how many road tiles are nearby. There it is. How many road tiles are nearby? The tile you're on has a three. And there are two visible row tiles around it, so it must be right there. Which means this is the safe one. Therefore, this tile can't be a row tile. Yeah, so we're gonna reveal some more to get more stamina. Your stamina's low, but you can use your bow to take him out. You'll never hit me with that dumb bow. Select your bow. Get him. Got him. Well, I was wrong. The smack talk is kind of funny. Um, okay. Bo has a cooldown of five turns. Only one row tile around here. Oh, but we already know it's that one, so all three of these are safe. Okay, now my stamina is full again. This six tile must have a lot of row tiles nearby. Let's use a skill there and see what you hit. Move to the six tile. Yeah. And then yeah, do our roundhouse. Woo! You'll have to do better than that. That's a good day. He's a tough one. Your roundhouse has a cooldown and won't be ready for another three turns. Luckily, your bow will be ready again in just one turn. Use this to step here. Now the bow is ready. Got it. There's only one enemy left, and you've nearly cornered the king. You take it from here. I'll see you on the road. Great, I was hoping they'd say that. Oh, six. Let's do a roundhouse. All clear. And we found a treasure. Now we gotta find that king, I guess. What's this, like, goat up here? Okay, I guess the goat is nothing. Now, do I have... I have actions forever to just kind of move, I guess. So this is going to be a road tile. Oh, but I can't use my bow. I can't reveal it like that. The king! Chase the king. Here we go. Oh, I used to love Minesweeper. Okay, we've completed the tutorial. Let's do it. I'm excited. And it looks like, so we're going to play with the trooper, but there's lots of other different characters we'll be able to do. Let's go on normal. Let's revolution. The numbers on tiles tell you how many... Yes, 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 we got all this. I tutorialed. Let me play. Flocks. Okay. Uh, so zero around us. Let's go there. That means that's going to be a road tile. Um, I guess I could roundhouse here and just see what we got. So I should study. Swing by and we'll make you even better. Oh, it's like a power-up. Needle potato. Gem is gem. <laughs> yeah. Which should we train today? Pick one. My stamina gains six stamina for every five tiles revealed. Or for every four tiles revealed, it would upgrade. Or more coins. I mean, let's get more coins. I don't even know what we need the coins for yet. But you know, I'm a loot hound, so let's do it. Okay. Up there, we got some more stamina. Now, it does say there's two road tiles. They're probably going to be these two. Oh, 
Oh, I hit a bad guy. He said surprise, but that's all right. We're gonna use our bow. No, can I not do that? Why can't I do it? I can't hit him with my bow, apparently. Can I now? Yes. All clear. That was it. Just one. Now we gotta find the king. There's the king. You're cheating. Not fair. Chase the king. I got more coins. Moving on to our next stage. I would really like this on mobile, I think. Okay, so two of these. There's some stamina. I'm gonna roundhouse to reveal some of these. Okay. Seek and ye shall find new knowledge. Okay, at the smith. Uh, desperate hour. Gain three energy reduction when beginning a turn with one heart. Um, or... Flying leap. Move to a distant tile. Oh, I like flying leap. That's cool. Let's learn that. Neat. All right. Uh, let's go here. No, I can't do this yet, but I would love to. So we're going to drink this now. Let's see if I can do my roundhouse now. Yeah, buddy. That was great. Um, yeah, another bad guy. You stinker. All right, I'm going to need to move to get him. Okay, we got all the, all the bad guys. And I found the king. Now, I mean, do I, should I bother? Opening up the other ones? I don't know. We're moving on. We're moving on. Like, should I try to unveil all the tiles? I don't know if that's the point of it or not. Okay, one of these is going to be... Now, two of... Probably those two. All right! And y'all have had enough of Let's Revolution! So many gongs, it may summon a gong demon. I don't know. Yeah, maybe we would want to open the others to see if there's loot. That is the game I would play more of. That is Let's Revolution by Buck Ant Food and Hawthorne Games. But for the purposes of today, Let's Revolution gets a gong show gong. There it is. A gong show gong is upon us, friends. Let's check out the next game on the agenda. It's like you guys were like, man, Trisha's got to go pick up her son from camp. Let's, let's rock and roll through these quickly. <laughs> All right. Changing over our graphics quickly, firing up our next game. Backside of Water says as a mobile game, it's a win, but not as a PC game. I get it. I get it. All right. Next game starting up. Monday is apparently a bad indie day. <laughs> We've had gong shows on a Monday before. All right. Our next game of the showcase today is called Jump Light Odyssey. Developed by League of Geeks. You can follow them on Twitter at Jump Light Game. Maybe everyone's less forgiving on Mondays. That's a good guess, Forlorn Night. It makes sense. Jump Light Odyssey is coming soon to PC. And it says, keep hope alive on your adventure to the mythical Forever Star. Gather survivors, repair and build out your starship, brave black holes, and fend off attacks, all while managing the daily soap opera of your colorful crew. I like this already. Since before time, whenever our explorers were lost, they would look to the forever star to find their way home. Now, a great darkness has found us. Uh -oh. Warmongering Zootopans sought to extinguish our light. In a desperate bid to defend our beloved home, we committed everything we had. It does kind of look like Shira.
Yet, the cold malice of Admiral Voltan couldn't be stopped. The battle was lost. I knew what I had to do. Where our only hope lies. I, Princess Euphora, last remaining regent of our people, will lead us to the Forever Star. Here it is. Jump Light Odyssey. Those of us who survived that day lost everything. But this is not our end. We will survive. Because together, we will keep hope alive. I feel very inspired already. Hunt them down. No survivors. Ooh, evil eye. This says it was inspired by epic 1970s anime space adventures, which that totally tracks. Um, and it says, as captain, you're responsible for taking care of the human needs of everyone on your ship. Everything from socializing, sleep, food to water and air, Wi-Fi not included in this hierarchy of needs. All right. Uh, I'm excited to check this out. A message from the devs. Hi there, spacefarer. Thank you for downloading the Jump Light, uh, downloading Jump Light Odyssey and taking the time to explore our demo. Our Starship Adventure Sim is still quite early in development. As such, the demo is just a small slice of what's to come. And the current build does have some rough edges, bugs, and complete features, etc. Regardless, we hope it demonstrates not only our vision for this game, but the passion, care, and heart we're pouring into the unique experience and we are crafting for you. Our early access launch is not too far away, so if you also see the potential in what we're building, the best way to support us and stay up to date is to wishlist and follow Jump Light Odyssey on Steam. Thank you for coming aboard the SDF Catalina. We can't wait to share the next chapters of Jump Light Odyssey with you. Aww. Okay, here we go. Play the demo. Euphora's journey. That's where we're going. Jump complete, Captain. Analysis incoming. We're still in the Regency. Sensors indicate the Zutopon fleet isn't far behind. But wait, Pleiades, it's... Go to bridge. Okay. Uh, Pleiades is lost, but we're still here. We must keep moving. Status report? The bridge is the command center of your starship. Use your camera to survey it. W-A-S or D to move the camera. Q or E. Or drag using center mouse wheel. We can zoom here if we need to. SDF Catalina reports damage to multiple decks awaiting your orders, Captain. Your starship, the SDF Catalina, is compromised of multiple, or is, excuse me, comprised of multiple decks. Use up or control and up. Okay, these are our different decks. Okay, I thought I, thought I went through them all. But let me just do this. Give me a second to think. Of course, princess. I mean, uh, captain. Time can be paused using space. Great. Injuries reported shipwide, captain. When a crew member's health drops too low, they become wounded. Wounded crew lose morale and have reduced movement speed. Search your starship for wounded um, crew highlighted in yellow and select them for more information. Okay. I don't see anyone on this deck. Yeah, yellow. Um, some of the crew are wounded, some are just scared. I have individual reports. 
Uh, crew reports are organized into tabs. The emotional state and statuses affecting a character are shown under the status tab. Click on the tab to browse its contents. Okay. Emotional state stressed, status wounded. Greatly reduced movement speed because he has some severe injuries. I'll file all crew reports in the manifest. The manifest catalogs your entire crew. With the character selected, click the manifest button to open it. Manifest. Okay. Easier than finding people otherwise. Um, so here's all our people. I can inspect characters. That's now. Can I just like... I guess by health, maybe. These are all wounded folks. So many wounded folks. All right. Now what? Recommend we lower the alert level, Captain. We have time before the Zootopon fleet is upon us again. Let's give our people a chance to calm their nerves. Okay. Alert levels. Let's change to... Enter green alert. All clear, so people can chill out a little bit. Wounded crew alert may report to the med bay. We're safe. For now. So does that automatically happen when we're on green alert, I guess? Won't do much good. Med bay's offline. We need to get it back on the power grid. Okay. Build mode allows you to plan new construction for your crew to build. Click the mode button to change modes. Um, I think that's down here. Okay, now we're in build mode. Select an existing room to edit it. That's the med bay. Uh, toolbox. Uh, it requires a new power switch to connect it. Click the add new object. Power switch. Can it be put anywhere? Right there. Looks good. We received your plan, Captain. Work starts on your order. A plan must be confirmed before your crew begins construction. Click and hold build to confirm your changes. So right here, build. Construction confirmed. Build site designated captain awaiting resources. Once construction is confirmed, the required resources are hauled to build sites. In this case, metal and plastic are required to build your power switch. These have now been deducted from your resource stores shown at the top of your screen. That's up here. Makeshift Wing says, feels a little like RimWorld and FTL. I mean, I love that they're being so detailed in this tutorial because it's walking me through exactly what I need to know. Um, okay. Select your power switch for further information. Great. Orders received. Hauling metal and plastic across the ship at the double. Folks, we officially have our first gong show win of the day in Jump Light Odyssey from League of Geeks. Congratulations, League of Geeks, on your gong show win today. We'll keep playing this for another 5 to 10 minutes before we move to the next game of the showcase. And I'm going to get better at building stuff on this ship. It says we could use some extra suppliers, Captain. This stuff is heavy. Okay. So how can we do that? Each crew member belongs to a division, which determines their duties. The supply division performs shipwide hauling to move resources throughout the ship. Transferring more characters to the supply division will result in resources moving between rooms more efficiently. Select Marine, Scientist, or Engineer. Navigate to their Actions tab, then select Transfer to reassign that crew member to the supply division. Alright. Do I just pick them? There's Jill. An Engineer? And she's repairing damages. What about Andy? Uh, here, this guy's patrolling. Let's have him. He's a supplier. How could I? Transfer. Oh, he's already supply. That's what he already does. Never mind. Let's find this person is a marine. We're going to transfer them to supply. I won't let you down, Captain. Suppliers are hauling resources from across the ship. Now, we could speed up time if we want to. Hint, consider storing resources in a cargo hold to stage them for future construction. All right. Awaiting hauling. So we're going a little faster. Let's see how we're doing here. We're still awaiting lots more resources. Okay. Activate, I guess. Go to build site. Over to your engineers. All right. 
Looks like we did a good thing. After resources have been hauled to a build site, construction is performed by engineers. Tarps will raise to indicate when an engineer can perform their work. Use that to select your power switch. Select the power switch that you've added to your med bay. Took you long enough. Our engineers can only get to work once resources have been delivered. Okay, activate. I think I, th I thought I did. I, th I thought I did. Uh, med bay reports they're running low on metagel. Oh no. Our scientists are working the metagel centrifuges. Scientists need biomass to synthesize metagel. Gross. <laughs> um, supplies are dwindling. We should secure a steady supply of biomass by building a greenhouse. Oh, thank gosh. I thought they were going to say it was like poop or like boogers or something. Yeah. Okay. It's just from a greenhouse. Let's build a greenhouse. <laughs> okay. Enter build mode. Create new room. A greenhouse. Can we put it here or there or somewhere? Once selected, hold where you wish to place your new room and move your mouse to draw its dimensions. To reduce its dimensions, draw back over the room in the same way to subtract from it. Uh, does it say it needs to be like a certain amount or something? Like, should I put it in here or in here? I guess I can't put it in there. I could draw it here. Okay, that looks okay, I guess. Once you've confirmed your room dimensions, select a door from the doors tab. Okay, I think that looks nice. Uh, a door from the doors tab. A door must be placed on a wall between structural pillars. Room size looks good unless they need it to be bigger. Hmm. You typed boogers as, as I was saying it. Jinx. Rooms can't be divided. No, I think that's good unless it needs me to make it bigger. Escape is back. Oh, here we go. I just had to go back. Door. Great. What happened to the lights? The power grid has been disrupted. We'll need to power, uh, build and maintain power switches in every room. All right to restore power, water, and gravity. All right, I know how to make a power switch already. All rooms require power switches in order to access the power grid. The power grid provides a room with gravity and allows the objects within to draw the power or water they require. Add a new object. Okay, add object. Go back. Uh, let's see, another power switch right in there. Great, we should add an oxygen generator. There's an oxygen generator. The crew will appreciate being able to breathe. I bet they will. Let's make sure I put them in the room. Okay, it looks like I did put them in the room. Um, great. Now that the greenhouse is livable, let's add some biomass crops. They will supply us with an ongoing source of biomass. Okay. Um, each crop has different benefits and drawbacks. Add a new object to a biomass crop. Okay, let's do add a new object, not doors, crop. Now let's see. Um, let me turn the room around. What if I, can I rotate it? I guess I could just put it, no? Standing by, Captain. A plan must be confirmed before your crew begins construction. Click and hold build to confirm your changes. Okay. Confirm your plan. This looks like my plan. Where is click and hold build? Let's see. Confirm. Add new object. Oh, build. There we go. So that was my plan all lined up. I like that. Bye, Mike G. Have a good rest of your day. The Zootopon fleet will co soon come for us, Captain. We must jump again before we are caught. Bring up your journey. View journey. 
This is very complex and I am into it. The journey screen tracks your voyage from uh, Pleiades and the proximity of the Zutapan fleet that pursue you. Uh, open the journey screen from the hologram on the bridge. Aha. Where are we going? Our destination is the Forever Star. Our course is up to you. We can jump to any star system within jump range. Um, they lie still for now. I'll report any movement. So I guess we'll just jump to this one because it's right there. Um, we're equi equipped with a jump light core capable of holding and releasing jump light in order to transport the vat ship fast distances. Must be captured before each jump. The more jump light your jump light core can hold, the farther your jump range. Uh, so select a star system within jump range. It looks like that's, yeah, insufficient jump light. So we have to do this one. Um, target it. Targeted for jump. Okay, it says target a star system for your next jump. But I think we did. I think that's it. Target for jump. It's not letting me click it. That's all right, folks. We have reached the end of our five to ten minute playthrough of Jump Light Odyssey. As of right now, our only gong show winner of the day. Will the next game be a contender? Let's find out. Congratulations again to Jump Light Odyssey on your win today. Okay. At least we had a win. There have been some interesting ones today, though, I have to say. Okay, our next game does have a Twitch category. Ah, you think that's where we currently are, so maybe we needed to select, select another one. That makes sense, Red Banshee. But yeah, fun animation in that last one for sure. Okay, the next game of the showcase today is The Lone Blade. Now, for those of you who do want to check out The Lone Blade, the devs have asked that you do it via this link. They are not sponsoring a portion of the stream or anything like that. They're just trying to track how many people found their game from the gong show. So I'm going to put that link there in chat. Um, they do recommend using a controller. Here's what I know about the Lone Blade so far. Developed and published by Opia Games, whose Twitter handle is just over there. Uh, this launched May 23rd of this year. Ooh, very loud. Turning it down. The Lone Blade is a 3D platformer where you are a soul trapped in a sword. In order to redeem yourself, you will have to create your own path. Jump, dash, spin, or spike to the ground and walls to go through the deserts and climb canyons and temples to the highest mountain. All right. It says that here's a game tip. The game is meant to be challenging, but not unfair or frustrating. The difficulty is a direct reflection of the game lore, the character need of redemption, and the struggle that it implies. Ooh, it might be very tricky. Bye, Tarlin. Have a good rest of your day. Let's check out The Lone Blade. The voting is now open. A long time ago was a man who had it all. But mankind isn't known for its satiety. His greed was so great, caused a misfortune that no one could have foreseen. As he killed out of belief, he forgot the faces of those he once loved. And out of the pain he caused emerged more and more suffering. I'm not really following what's happening, but Greedy King murders everybody is about where I got. Jostled by the crisis, the orders broke and had no choice but to fight against the common enemy. Therefore, the gods, witnesses among his, his kind, had no choice but to act. Wiping out all life but his own, they condemned him to contemplate the loss he had caused. Thus the years passed in a silence that only death knew how to perpetrate. 
However, one day the man had a dream. A lucid dream where he realized he could move again. Uh, okay. Am I dreaming? Why does this place seem so familiar, yet so different? Okay, we got some voiceover. Jump. Okay, I'm jumping forward. I can rotate. Oh, I see. Weird physics-y game. Hold to dash? Wait, what? That is not dash. Okay, that's jump. Rotating is up and down and jump. Oh no. Oh no. How do I move forward? Okay. How do I get over that thing? So I'm just a sword. Yeah, I'm like a dude trapped in a sword. Now it's saying that shift on the keyboard is dash, but what is it on? Oh, I see. I see. Okay. So it says that the oh, jump and then the right button. Oh, this is weird. Yeah, I think it's an angle of entry into the ground thing. But it's kind of hard to see. Oh, here we go. All right, if I move to the side, you can see the angle a lot better. Um, can we like jump to this side? Like how would I? Not, not quite sure how I'm supposed to, uh, <coughs> aha, okay, figured that out, but now what? Yeah, because like you finally get up there and then it just wants to fling you backwards, because if you use the, the dash to get up there. Aha. Okay, because you can just keep spinning. But now I'm like the wrong way. Ugh! Get me up there! No! Can I dash again? I can't. Get me up there! <laughs> now what? Where? Oh no! Now I'm supposed to dash all the way up there? What is this? Getting over it with Bennett Foddy the sword? Get up there, friend. Um, yeah, that is the getting over it is the game when you're the guy with the barrel and the hammer. Okay. Okay. Uh, something to side spin. Oh, I guess a right. Right bumper. No. 
Okay, right bumper didn't seem to do squat on the controls. So, St. Mitch says, I agree with the Forlorn Knight. The premise is interesting, but I'd get frustrated by the gameplay pretty quick. Okay, well, we're going to try to... Okay, I made it through the door of some sort. Uh, now I'm falling. RC Carver's into it. The world building's neat. Like, what are these hands and stuff? Oh, we're actually a dude. Again, I gaze upon this world. Awake at last. Okay. Now, how do I... How do I, like, do I need to go in there? Maybe? In the eye? Not in the eye? I'm not real sure. Let me just see if they give me camera distance. That's all fine. Okay, they don't give me controls again, which is kind of what I was hoping for. Because I thought it said right bumper was some kind of side thing. Oh, right trigger. That's how we move to the side. Well, now I'm definitely in the wrong spot. But let's go back up to where we were. Whoop. Oh, way too far to the side. Okay. Okay. Maybe this will hopefully be the... Now, you stinker! Okay, right there. Oh, farts. I just can't hit anything right. Uh, uh, okay, yeah, take me that way. Now I'm behind it? I just wanted to... Oh, you turkey. You turkey. Uh, okay, back me up a little bit, and I'm gonna go there, then... Okay. No wonder he's a lone sword. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. Let me Oh man. I'm just can I can I get it? Nope, I can't. I'm only going backwards. Oh boy, well cool world, super frustrating gameplay. Folks, that's <laughs> that's in the lone the lone sword. Again, if you do want to check it out for yourself, please go ahead and do so via the link that was posted in chat. Ultimately, chat is the decider. Folks, again, that was developed and published by Opia Games. Launched May 23rd of this year. And, uh, woo, what a tough platformer that is. And again, it says the game's meant to be challenging, but not unfair or frustrating. The difficulty is a direct reflection of the game lore, the character's need of redemption, and the struggle that it implies. Well... I would have loved to have progressed farther in the game, but it feels very getting over it to me and I think to a lot of you. So here we go. An official gong show gong. For the Lone Sword. All right. We got another one coming up today. We'll see if it has a Twitch category. <coughs> Exit this game. There we go. 
Dante says, I disagree with their assessment of the difficulty. <laughs> uh, I do too. Yeah, I do too. Um, Corrigy says, how was Spider-Man yesterday? We didn't get to go see it, sadly. There was a little Airbnb emergency that needed to be handled, so no movie for us. We will see across the Spider-Verse someday. Who knows when? But someday, hopefully, it will happen. Okay. The next game of the showcase today is... A demo that's available right now on Steam. It does have a Twitch category. And hopefully, it'll be ready to go soon. Okay. The next game that we are featuring today is called Acolyte of the Altar. Developed and published by Black Kite Games, whose Twitter handle you can see just over there. Launch date is coming soon to PC. And in this game, we hunt through the wastelands for colossal beasts in a roguelike deck builder. Beware, each beast becomes enraged as you fight, unlocking new abilities to consume your creatures or counterattack your spells. Carve profane gifts from these behemoths and grow stronger to serve your patron. It is rated M for blood and fantasy violence. I, today's been kind of like a, a bloody gong show day as well. Um, and it's a beast hunting roguelike deck builder inspired by Shadow of the Colossus. And I'm like, baby, now you got my attention. Inspired by, the Shadow, by Shadow of the Colossus, which is a game I adore. Each beast becomes enraged as you fight, unlocking new abilities to consume your creatures or counterattack your spells. With all of that being said, the voting is now open and let's check it out. Okay. Ooh. Squawking Bard says, Hey, over here, you're an acolyte, right? I'm a beast. That means we fight. I wonder why. Oh, you look positively flimsy. Let me give you some tips so you don't embarrass yourself. Phew. Look at that. You brought a cute little guy with you. Why don't you right-click to check him out? When you loot a new card, a tiny disciple is sadly replaced from your deck. It looks like he's a creature. See how he has a yellow attack gem? That's how much damage he does when he attacks. Creatures also have health. This red health gem is how much damage this creature can take before he snuffs it. This blue gem up here is his mana cost. All cards cost mana to play. You can see your mana pool here. It holds all your delicious mana. Okay. Here, have some extra mana I stole from the last acolyte. Use it to play your mana pool coin next. Okay. Cool. Did it. Oh, shoot. He ate all your mana. Most cards have special effects, so be sure to read them before playing them. Phew. Oh, you tricked me, you jerk. <laughs> Notice uh, creatures are summoned closest to your face. Yes. Well, you're out of mana, so let's see what you got. Smack me hard. Well, so this guy spent all remaining mana to gain plus one, plus one. I mean, that's all right. I got a five, five now. Drag your creatures to attack into the attack row, then click the big button to attack. Oh, my creatures are sick with summoning sickness and can't attack. That means you'll have to end your turn and let me go next. Okay. Piercing gaze. Deal one damage directly to you, rude. My piercing gaze messed you up good. Did you see your life plummet for my special ability? I mean, plummet's extreme. You hit me for one. Okay, for real this time. Pick up your creatures by dragging them. Your mouse can carry multiple creatures at once. Interesting. Um, now this... Oh, powerful slash deal three. Does that mean they're attempting to do that to this creature? Okay, big button to attack. There we go. Ouch, as turns go by, a beast's rage increases. This unlocks our latent power via new abilities. End your turn again so I can show you my real power. Okay, yeah, you're gonna kill my dude. Yep, and you hit me for one, bring me down to 18. Now it's my turn. My powerful slash destroyed your creature. Take that, acolyte. This bard is mouthy. Most abilities strike from left to right, like reading a book, okay? 
Well, that's all the advice I have. Can we stop? We can stop fighting now, right? No, I'm gonna kick your booty. Attack. Hey, hey, what? Thanks for the help, squawking bard. Okay, let's see if we get any more info about this world. Uh, choose your greater patron. Could be this one, this one, or this one. And choose your lesser patron. Okay, so it could be the Ravagers. Um, armies of imps captained by mountainous champions. The Empiricists embracing reason and shunning their emotions and instincts. Empiricists bargain with transcendental horrors in exchange for knowledge. Do like knowledge. Or the Sylvans. They're locked in the demo. Come back later. Um, I mean, okay, we'll go with the Empiricists. And my lesser patron, I guess, will be the Ravagers. Since that's all we got. The Morrow Wastes. I do like card games, STS, it's true. All right, let's really get into this, baby. Now we're up against the Fates. Ooh, we're fighting the Fates, I like that. They've got 30 health, though, and you can see all these eyes. I like that the <laughs> eyes open to show their abilities, too. It's just kind of a neat aesthetic. All right, I am the Acolyte. I could use my mana pool. It would just give me a 1-1, one, one, though. So let's do gain two bar. I don't have that. I could put out an Impling. Let's put out an Impling. It'll have summoning sickness, so I end my turn. The fates get to do what? Spin. The work of the fates' hand. Length of thread. Oh, they get to put it out for one. They've got spin, measure, and cut. Deal one for every three tokens on measure. Interesting. Overkill zero. Overkill 30. An ability with overkill will deal leftover damage to you directly. Okay. Um, so now I've got two in my mana pool. I could put out another impling. I feel like I should get the implings out fast. Gain two borrowed life would be nice. Um, yeah, I'm going to get the implings out fast and I'll put out one of these guys and then I'm going to attack face there. Okay, end my turn. Dante says it's a little too bizarre for me. Oh, no! Wait, why did they give me the... No! Wait, I didn't know they could do three in one turn. Rude. Rude. Ah, so they can do three in one turn. They spin measure and cut. So now the cut's gonna take out this dude. Uh, so let's put out another, a Lava, Lava Maw Smith gives attackers plus one attack this round. That's kind of cool, but it will cost all three. Um, Tiny Disciple, when you loot a new card, a Tiny Disciple is sadly replaced from your deck. I could gain two borrowed life. I don't know that I need it yet, though. Let's have a 3-3 three, three out. And then attack with... Oh, I can't attack with that guy because I just put him out. That's all right. My impling has served his purpose. He's going to die at the end of this turn. One, two, three. Oh, no. But now they have even more counters on measure and cut. Oh, no. I got to take out the fates quickly. Astral Newton says, now you get hit with a 52 card pickup. Dude, I hope not. Um, summon two cannon fodder. Cannon fodder are front line and they have charge. I mean, yeah. That's going to cost all four, though. Um... When you have borrowed life, damage done to you is instead absorbed by your borrowed life. Uh, I could do two and two. I don't know. I want to do the cannon fodder. I'm going for it. They kind of look like little xenomorphs, don't they? They do. 
All right, well, at this point, since they all have charge, we're gonna attack. Because I gotta take out the fates quickly if I'm gonna hope to survive here. GK's giving this one a thumbs up. More tiny disciples, but now we've got five. So let's do, if everyone gets plus one this round. I could put out a tiny disciple. And everyone gets plus one. Overlords gain bonus effects each time they stay behind during an attack. Even if they have summoning sickness, let's see. Yes, it did work even with the summoning sickness. So they're gonna take out my other little, this little dude over here. I just can't let this get to 30, <laughs> right? I think that's what they said. Um, all right, now we've got six. I could put out all this, I guess, if I wanted to. Borrow two life, put out another tiny disciple. Now can, oh, I don't have any more space to play that card. Oh, wait, no, hold on. I want to leave this guy back so that everybody can get plus one. Attack. And that should be lethal. Goodbye, the fates. You have been destroyed. Victory, claim your reward. Mastodon Mahout, uh, play. I hop on target creature, raising my stats by theirs. Death, resubmit my mount. Interesting. Monument Carver, choose a card in hand. It costs seven mana and becomes a seven seven. Ooh. Advance all enemy rage gauges by one. Um, end of turn, if awakened, gain five borrowed life. You become awakened once all enemy rage gauges have been filled and their abilities are active. Let's go, let's mess with the mount because I don't really know what to do with that yet. So let's figure that out. Okay. It is the Acolyte's turn. Mother of Kid is who we're fighting. Oh, and we don't heal in between matches. So we don't, automatically start with 20. That's interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and put out our impling. And turn. The beast's turn, it's got bite, which deals two. Oh man, that's gonna take out my dude. Um, Tiny disciple, I guess I could just tiny disciple it. Tiny Disciple, this one's gonna attack while he can before he gets taken out. Taken out by Bite. All right, the Rage Meter's gonna fill up. Pretty soon it's gonna have an even more powerful attack. Um, Chanting Cultist. I'm gonna put out another Impling and a Tiny Disciple for next time and attack with what I got and turn. It is a little like Magic the Gathering Arena Online. Um, it's I mean, it plays very similar to a lot of trading card games. It's, I would say, a much more streamlined version of like an MTG or a Hearthstone, at least in what we've seen so far. Rams the leftmost creature into its neighbor, damaging each by the other's attack. Oh no. I do not like that at all. So I need to put someone that's like real beefy in the middle to take that, like just a wall in the middle, I guess, that does really low damage. Um. I'm gonna put the Lava Maw there. Now, I thought it said the leftmost creature. This is my left. Did you mean your left? Well, I'm gonna have both of these attack. Uh. 
Oh, but yeah, now it does three. Stinker. Not good. Not good. All right, well, somehow they survived. Let's do... I hate that ram move. That's just awful. Uh, let's get a 5-5 five five out here, and I'm going to put it on... I guess it always has to go on this side. Attack! I should have left that one back. I guess it doesn't matter either way. Um, and turn. Oh, Ram has to charge up again. I see. The bite is now open. Another bite? You can do two bites? Ha! Um. Yeah, let's see how this one works. I hop on target creature... Raising my stats by theirs. Oh. Oh. Whoa, baby. Okay. That is very cool. Um. But I can't attack with that yet. So I'm going to attack with this one right now. So I guess I get rid of the ram by just keeping one out. If I just keep... Okay, okay. Whoa, wait, it hit me for 10? Okay, it never said it was going to hit face for 10. What? This just got so much harder. Okay, well, I definitely need the borrowed life now. I'm also going to put that guy there to let this hit for... 11, hopefully. Yeah. Holy cow. Okay, we got, I mean, I got to take him out this time. I will at least. When you loot a new card, what does loot a new card mean? I'm not sure how that guy works, but... I'll give me a 6-6, six, six, just because why not? Here we go. Took out the mother of kid. Think when you get a new card after a match. Oh, okay, yep. That makes sense. Thank you, the Forlorn Knight. Victory, claim your reward. Dominate. Summon two beast tormentors. Advance all enemy rage gadgets. Oh, I don't like that, though. A start of turn, summon a crumbling gargoyle. End of turn, I lose one attack. That's okay. Fearless. Fearless creatures gain more attack depending on the max life of the enemy. Oh, I like that. Let's go with the fearless one. Okay, moving on next. Offering harvested... A ball of fur cowers before a beast, a lost dog, or a tricky hunter. A strange-looking man is crouching out of sight of some crazy animal. I mean, let's go with the lost dog. Timid eyes look up at you. The beast looks desperate and hungry. It is closing the distance to the dog, step by step. Rescue and flee. Okay. We saved a dog. I don't know what that did for our cards. But now we only have 12 life left. And this has 40? And we have a little doggo? End of turn, bites the enemy for three, then flees to the back line. Death, forsake me. What does forsake me mean? What does death forsake me mean? Maybe it means we have to get rid of it for good? I don't know. Um. Impling. Okay. And what's its parry? Counterattack, deal one. If this kills a creature, deal one is another counterattack. Ooh, don't like that. Piercing gaze, deal one damage directly to me. And soothing song, restore one life to itself. Okay. I am going to get myself some borrowed life, please. 
Um, I guess attack with these two things. Okay. Oh no! Not the doggo! Uh, doggo's still okay. The Forlorn Knight says, I like this. It's the PvE I wish Magic the Gathering Arena had. Um, it's like when Hearthstone added their campaigns. That's what they call them, right? Campaigns? I like those, too. If you want, you know, the single player where not everyone pays to win and buys all their cards and looks up their decks on Hearthpone or <laughs> whatever the MTG equivalent is. All right, folks, we've got another minute, roughly, to look at Acolyte of the Altar from Black Kite Games. So if you've been holding off on your vote, get your votes in now, and we will check to see... Uh, if we have a clear win or a clear gong in one direction or the other. All right, I have three I could put out. I'm going to put out this Fearless, which I can't do anything with right now. Um, but I can attack with these two. It's all I got going for it. I'm trying to hurt the doggo, but doggo's still okay. Oh, doggo bit for three. And goes back to here. Uh oh, piercing gaze. Don't love it. It's my turn. Um, give attackers plus one this round is fine. Uh uh uh. What do I want to do? Well, I will put that out, and then I will also put out another impling. I wish those implings had charge. Okay, end turn. Piercing gaze. Now I could put out a 5 5 mana pool koi. Or I could give all my guys another plus one. That might be nice too. Let's do that. And then he's got to stay in the background. Attack! There we go. Oh, that was so sad. Oh, that was so sad. All my friends. Um, I do have two left. Let's go ahead and do a Tiny Disciple and end my turn. I'm going to win this hand, I think, but I don't know how much I'm going to last beyond that with only seven health left. So here I'm going to put out a Mana Pool Koi. It has Summoning Sickness, but that's okay. Let me get these two out. And there we go. Now, I see some very mixed responses in chat. So, while Acolyte of the Altar was overall positively received, there's no clear gong show win giving Acolyte of the Altar an honorary gong show gong today. There it is. So, let's recap <laughs> what we have seen in today's gong show. All right, to recap, today we have played Fall of Porcupine from Critical Rabbit, which was a unique story adventure uh, where it was a very slow burn, but it seemed very cozy, and then things went haywire. We were in a pigeon in a healthcare setting. We bumped our head. We didn't. We weren't able to get far enough into it to really get into the meat and potatoes of that game. So it was not a gong show winner today. We played Land Above, Sea Below, uh, which was a puzzle game that looked like it had super promise if we could have understood a little bit better how we raise the levels of the tiles that we're putting down. So once that's been explained, that could have been a gong show winner, but alas, today was not. We played Snowscapes, where I put, like, little cute animals and predator animals in a little snowy area, and then they murdered each other very violently, and somehow all my animals exploded because they starved to death. I don't know, but Snowscapes was not a gong show win because we couldn't really figure out what was happening, although lots of people said it had potential. We played Let's Revolution from Buck and Food, which was a roguelite puzzle mashup about stopping a narcissistic king from ruining your world. Um, it, that one was the super vibrant, hand-painted world that was kind of like Minesweeper, if you remember. I liked it a lot. I think our overall consensus as is would be a winner on mobile but was not a winner today on pc 
Then we played Jump Light Odyssey. Now, Jump Light Odyssey was from League of Geeks. People were saying it had kind of a Shira animation aesthetic, but it was inspired by 1970s retro anime. And you have to manage your entire ship and like build things on your ship and keep all your people happy. That was a Gong Show winner today. So, congrats to League of Geeks on your Gong Show win. We played The Lone Blade, which felt very much like getting over it with Bennett Foddy, except for you're a sword. And we didn't get that far because just like getting (laughs) over it, it was frustratingly difficult. Uh, Even though the devs said it is meant to be challenging, but not unfair or frustrating. Not a winner today. Acolyte of the Altar is what we just finished with from Black Kite Games, uh, where, you know, it was a a deck building game inspired by Shadow of the Colossus. I love me some deck building games. I love Shadow of the Colossus. Yet not a gong show win from this audience. So Red Banshee, you are correct. We did have only one gong show winner today, and that was Jump Light Odyssey, which means we don't even need to do a poll. A rare single win for a gong show. Dante said so close to a complete wipe, but not today. So congrats to League of Geeks on Jump Light Odyssey and your ultimate gong show win today. All right, folks, that wraps up today's Twitch gong show. Normally these take place on Tuesday, but since I'll be on set for Kingston Technology tomorrow, I won't be able to stream tomorrow. Hence doing it on a Wednesday. Um, But this is Steam Next Fest this week, meaning if you love indie games like I love indie games, you can go on Steam right now and try a whole plethora of indie game demos for free. So if you get to try any out that you really like, please shout them out in the Twitch Gong Show channel of the Discord so that I can add them to our roster uh, to cover in the upcoming weeks. I have to say, with all the announced indie games at Summer Game Fest and all the emails I've been receiving receiving about Steam Next Fest demos, whoo, there's a lot of indie games on the list to check out in the future. So it might be a couple weeks before I get to the game you request, but let me know. Beartastic says they should just rename it Twitch Gong Show Week. I would love that. But someday, someday the Twitch Gong Show will be that popular. <laughs> all right, folks. Thank you all so much again for watching the stream today. I'm going to go pick up Little Man from camp. And then I am off to, this is so cool, um, I'm off to the Magic Castle tonight in Hollywood uh, for a business meeting. And when you get to say I have a business meeting in the Magic Castle, it's a pretty cool, it's a pretty cool business meeting. No, I am not getting back into magician's assistant work. Thought I'd leave that little copy out there. The meeting actually has nothing to do with magic work. We're just having it at the Magic Castle because it's a cool place to have a meeting. All right. So I'll try to take some pictures and put them on social media since you've got to dress up to go to that place. So I'm going to get, I'm going to get fancy tonight. All right, everyone. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Happy Juneteenth. And I will see you not tomorrow because I'll be on set, but on Wednesday for a stream. Bye, everyone.